Welcome to Rave Sensation. I'm your host, Dan, and today I'm going to be recommending a book to you. It's Shock Value, a tasteful book about bad taste by the creator of Pink Flamingos and Polyester. It's uh, John Waters' first book. Um, I'm going to have to assume that you know who John Waters is, or at least familiar with some of his movies. Um, you know, this covers his films up to polyester, so it does not go up to things like his big hit, Hairspray, or his uh, movie with Johnny Depp, Cry Baby, or any of those films. Um, uh, so if you're interested in, in an entire overview, this this isn't it. But this does cover, it, it's partly an autobiography, because he talks about his early life and what led him to make the movies he makes. And it also has a lot of interesting stuff about the the actors who appeared in his films. And, um, you know, it just has some tremendous stories. Again, I'm just really recommending you check this book out. I'm not going to go into it a lot, but I did think I'd point out a couple of the really, <laughs> what I think are funny stories. Um, <laughs> he's talking about when pe the people in his, uh, when they're getting ready to film Pink Flamingos, uh, and Divine had uh, done all kinds of things to prepare for the role. And, you know, usually he could get away with going out in public because he would look like a man. But he had to do some changes to get ready to play this over-the-top character, Divine. And, it's, uh, and, of course, Divine could never step out of the house. Everyone agreed the outside world was out of the question except in emergency situations, which for Divine meant eating. With a five o'clock shadow from head to toe, he looked even more bizarre out of drag than he did in costume. His hairline was shaved back to his crown and his eyebrow eyebrows were just a memory. What was left of his hair was dyed a hideous shade of yellow and used as a launching pad for a rather ratty wig dyed to match. His heavy lipstick seemed never to come completely off, so his lips and face were permanently stained a faint pink. Having little interest in his everyday male attire, he wore a baggy one-piece white work suits off the set, giving him the appearance of a demented, rather feminine, <laughs> feminine garbage man. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh... Uh... <laughs> what was I um I don't even remember <laughs> this isn't even the page I tried oh here it is since Divine had no way of affording the extravagant lifestyle he was always one step ahead of irate husbands of maids landlords bill collectors, and police. He moved constantly, but this gave him even more reason to plan out yet other housewarming parties, and each one had to top the last. Divine had been consumed with a chronic case of party fever and finally had to move in with David Lockhary and Howard to hide out from his creditors. He quit his job and began to eat vast amounts of food and really put on the weight. He got so lethargic that when the toilet broke, he shit in the tub and be beat the turd down the drain with a stick. <laughs> uh, he really needed showbiz to pull him out of his depression. <laughs> anyway, uh, like I said, this is, if you know who John Waters is, if you're interested in him or any of the crazy people he had in his early cast, this is the book for you. Um, there are some great uh, stories about how he technically shot his movies. It's just um, it's just so funny. And I, I highly recommend it to all you uh, John Waters fans out there. 